Have you heard that by 2050 we could have more plastic in our oceans than fish? This plastic invasion has become an unacceptable reality. And this is because pollution is compromising the health of our planet and consequently our own health. That's why we are here at the Jeff Council meeting, where countries and civil society are together, joining forces to say no to this plastic invasion. But saying no to plastics is not enough. We need long-term solutions for our excessive consumption patterns and wasteful societies. Solutions that will address the heart of the problem, such as global regulations on waste management. And on that, we have good news. Recently, the United Nations and almost 200 countries made real progress during negotiations under the Basel Convention, the international treaty designed to reduce the movements of dangerous waste around the globe. The important impact of this uh, amendment to the Basel Convention, it is now pushing the issue down to the countries themselves to take actions at national level. Picking up the plastics in the ocean is not the solution. The solution is dealing with it from the source. And where the source is, is us as consumers, where we generate so much. Everyone agreed that stricter rules on plastic pollution were needed. This is because a large part of this pollution has been dumped in less developed countries. And without the capacity to manage it, most of the plastic waste ends up in our oceans and later on our plates. At our regional level, why we work At the Jeff Council meeting, everyone recognized that the plastic crisis will only be solved with the help of local organizations. Those are the ones who raise awareness at the local level and advocate for a circular economy. So oh, you have also different people in their mind that are used to package everything in the plastics, so mindset change takes time. So you need the civil society to help you, you need everybody to come on board, sensitize our local communities. Of course, I'm saying this, if you only deal with the supplier side, meaning manufacturers, then you don't tackle the issue of, I mean, the other side of demand, uh, then you don't get where you want to go. Uh, fish is our main um, staple food, so imagine if the fish eat plastic and we are eating plastic in a way, so our civil society, society organization, we feel that there is a dire need to work on plastics. There's a real need for innovation in this activity, and a lot of that's going to come from your civil society engagement on the ground in country. Because this is a lot more than just banning straws or banning plastic bags, but we need systemic change. So promoting the transition to a circular economy is what we need. This means, for example, more equal consumption patterns and community empowerment to minimize waste and make the most of our resources. It's not a technical issue, it's just more community engagement. It is how to involve the people who are at the last leg of the tire and also the policy makers who are at the top leg. There is a missing in link between the two. Both the people want to do things in a more organized fashion, but there is this missing link which the civil society through the agency like UNDP is filling up. Civil society will be honored to contribute as much as they can with their capacities. And we emphasize the importance of taking multi-stakeholder approach given that no single actor can catalyze system change. What's really happening is communities are taking charge of the problem and showing that they're not only part of the problem, they have the solutions. Only with everyone's help, we'll be able to clean up our planet. And you, what can you do today to reduce your plastic consumption?